today's project is going to semi-repair this. Um, I saved it because I knew there was something I could do with this big old hunk of metal. Uh, the boys got this jammed one time and so they just cut the ball off and let the trailer fall and then um, somehow got it out. But I don't, I don't know what the deal was. So anyway, I saved it because I figured, hmm, what can I do with this? So I figured out I'm going to use it on the lawnmowers. Um, no matter how good my welds are, if it falls off in the backyard with uh, four packages of uh, garden mix on it, no big deal. But I assume I can weld decently enough to make it uh, hold up a little yard trailer. You know, yeah, you can buy these for like 60 bucks or something, I think, for the back of the John Deere's and pretty much any lawnmower. But I'm just going to take the whole same idea and try this out. Okay, so now I've got pretty good gap in there, pretty good bevel I can weld on. No, it's not going to get in the center here because I'd need something to cut a good angle on and do some um, fillers or whatever they are, like they teach you in class on those plates. But again, as long as I get some pretty good weld all the way around it, I think it'll be fine for, you know, my never more than 500 pound trailer I'll be pulling. Uh, if it's 500 pounds, she's got a lot of dirt in there. Anyway, uh, this is what I'm going to do, and we'll try it out. If it don't work, it don't work. Get a bigger magnet. All right, let's try this. A couple plates to hold up, keep it from falling over, and a bigger magnet. So, should work now. Ladder. Yeah. Alright, forget the magnets. I'm just going to hold it and eyeball it to be pretty level. So, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, let me switch gloves. Okay, because of the curve, I couldn't get this on the drill press, so I just um, eyeballed as close as I could the paint mark on the other side. Um, it's still kind of hot from all the grinding and welding. Um, I just eyeballed that. Um, you can kind of see where the circle would have been. And measured it out and transferred it to this side so I can drill my hole right here. Um, you won't be able to see that in the black mark, but there's a shine and you can see it. So. I've got my center there. All right, and whatever size bit I had on there is gonna be big enough. Just get a couple washers. that portion. Now just gonna make some uh, brackets to go from here to here. Um, might even just make one bracket that loops around or maybe and hooks on here or something like that. Uh, not really sure yet on how I'm gonna do that part. Alright so this is what I finally decided on. I was looking around at all my scrap and everything in there. I was thinking at first I have this old, actually I think it's a jack rod for a, one of the trucks or something and we don't use that so it's all bent or maybe it was an extra one anyway i was going to make a u-bolt 
to go around here, kind of similar to what I'm doing right now. Uh, I was going to make a U-bolt to go around and then just thread the end, um, you know, and uh, wrap it around here. But then I thought, well, that's not going to be any better than just some of this flat steel. So what I did was I just cut me two pieces of this uh, one inch flat, or actually it's half inch flat, I think, that I have on the shelf back there. And then I just kind of bent it on the, drilled a quarter inch hole in it for these two holes here. Um, they were seven inches apart. I think this will be fine because, you know, I mean, like I said, it's not a lot of weight. And this will take some of that down pressure off um, just by having these up here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I, I semi-bent them right now and then I just brought them over here. And I'm going to form them up as best I can. And for now, I'm just going to go ahead and um, use some metal to metal screws and just uh, do them that way i will uh, probably uh, tap these and then drill a, a hole in there thread that so that we'll drill a hole here and tap this and then then i can just tighten it up with a quarter inch bolt but if this works uh, we'll we'll just leave it like this for a while and see if it you know if it starts to bend to this then i'll i'll get something stronger but i think this will be plenty um, as long as you just don't like I said, load the trailer down too much. I think I'm gonna have to drill those first. It's not going into the hitch. Okay, so a good 30 minutes later, I just decided to weld it. Those screws were not going into this um, hard hitch um, and just breaking off and really getting me very frustrated. So I figure, well, what the heck? As long as I can take these two bolts off and pull it off, it's not like it's really gonna be used on anything else. And with this being this thin stuff, I should be able to adjust it if I ever need to move it to a different lawnmower. Most likely it's going to stay on this anyway, so uh, next time just skip right to it or figure out something else to do. Um, <clears throat> Pre-drill it and tap it. Like I said originally, that might have been better, but I'm going to take this off and grind it down a little bit. as I can. Could paint it black, but why not paint it like it should be? I'll put another coat or two on there, and then we'll uh, hook it up and pull something with it. Let's hook it up and try it out. Oh, 
All right, so it turned out really nice, and it works just fine. Just made it from scraps around the house, pretty much, and an old cut-up hitch we had. As always, get out there, do something. Just tinker around. If it don't work, try something else. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.